Manipulating the mind used to be the weapon of choice of totalitarian regimes. But now, even our own government has gotten into the act. In this brief video, I will introduce you to the internet control grid's usual suspects. They are the astroturfer, the troll, the shill, and the fake blogger. Astroturfing is a practice of masking the sponsors of a message or organization to make it appear as though it originates from and is supported by grassroots participants. A troll epitomizes all that is ugly on the internet. A troll is someone generally hired who posts inflammatory comments, often having nothing to do with the topic, for the sole purpose of disrupting sensible and rational debate. A shill is a person engaged in promoting disinformation. Those that propagate disinformation as opposed to misinformation, which is just wrong information spread by repeaters who are ignorant of the facts. Sock puppets post comments under different aliases. To promote a particular view, sock puppets often engage in conversations between their different aliases. The term comes from a puppeteer's use of two sock puppets to allow them to engage in two sides of a conversation. A flogger is someone that creates a fake blog intended to look like an independent blogger, but in fact is created by a company or organization to push its product or political viewpoint. And now we'll scroll through some content. So what can we do? I know it's hard, but you should ignore them. Do not let them divert the conversation to peripheral or unrelated issues. I suppose it's pretty common knowledge by now that the mass media are little better than mouthpieces for the establishment. What I think we're forced to conclude is that our online conversations are now being manipulated in much the same way. As with all things, apply your own discernment. Fact check and verify where you feel it is appropriate. And most importantly, take the information that resonates with you and leave the rest behind.